Do I regret moving to Destin? In this video, what we're gonna cover is not just me, but everyone else here in our local area that we've helped about what it is that they either like or dislike about living in the Destin area. So if you're after that, we got all that coming soon and you wanna stick around to the end because we've got some things that may surprise you. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore here with the Whittemore Group here in the beautiful Destin Fort Walton Beach area. If this is your first time to our channel. We do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. As a military veteran of 14 years and now a military spouse, I've moved so many places. And every time I moved somewhere, there was always a lack of information of where to move to and what to expect. That's why we created this channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Now, if you are moving here, got some questions, need some help, please hit us up. We love hearing from you guys. Give us a call, text, email, whatever. We got your back when you're moving here. All right, back into the content, let's go. So do we regret regret living in Destin. Well, let's talk about Destin. If you haven't been here, I'm sure a lot of you have probably on vacation or know somebody that has or watched other cool videos, hopefully some from me, of how beautiful this place is, a lot of positive content coming down here, and why people love staying here, right? So the location, if you don't know, it's right here on the Florida Panhandle. It's up there in the northwest area. It's between Pensacola, Panama City Beach, boom, right in the center. It is a destination spot. Yeah, there's a pun for you. For people that love to vacation here. Now, I'm from upstate New York, so when we thought about Florida, we thought about Central Florida. We thought about South Florida, right? And that's where all of us New Yorkers would go. Yeah, that's a terrible accent. Anyway, we didn't even know. So it wasn't until I personally got into the military and I got stationed down at Eglin Air Force Base and I'm like, whoa, I didn't even realize this place existed. We were able to come down to this area. It's absolutely gorgeous, right? And it's really a nice mix of things and people and environment that you're going here like okay but those people that did come down here what was Destin really known for of course luckiest fishing village you like to fish I like to do that that's great boating some world-class boating here it's in boating magazine you can look it up it was regatta bay that was in there some of the best boating that you're going to find here in the united states amazing and then all the water sports that you could do the white sand beaches the not overly developed like south florida beaches as well all these different things really culminate into what this area is really known for so let's kind of talk about that let's talk about things that you may not like would you regret living here right first and foremost I just told you all these awesome things. But the thing that could really drive you away is all the other people that want to experience some awesomeness. <laughs> experience some awesomeness for a short period of time, aka vacations. So tourism, even though it's a huge industry here, as a local, that may just be a little bit too much for you. There's constant people all around. Now I'm gonna put a little spin on it just cause I've lived here for about a decade or more at this point. If you're living in a place where people are vacationing, there's not a lot of angry people on vacation. So you get to kind of share in that joy and that environment and everything else. And sure, people are gonna be obnoxious, but you know, for New York, everybody was obnoxious. <laughs> but a lot of people that come down here are vacationing from Tennessee, from the Carolinas, from Ohio, living in Ohio and doing real estate up there. You can check out my other channel too. I did in Dayton if you want to. But we also have a lot of people from Alabama, obviously, and Georgia. They come down here. They're really kind of respectful vacationers for the most part. And, and it really kind of shows. So yeah, tourism, it can really grind you down. But just know that it's just from spring break time, which I'm going to call in April until when the kids go back in school. And then you get the area back to enjoy. All right. Things you may not like that may drive you crazy is the traffic. Oh my goodness. The traffic drives drives me absolutely mad, right? I'm a real estate agent, so I'm traveling all the time. And if it wasn't for Google Maps or Waze, man, I would even be more frustrated sitting in that traffic. Because of all the way the water sits around here, which is gorgeous, and it's one of the great things that attracts people to the Destin area, it doesn't allow you to go places as the crow flies, right? It takes you so much longer because you gotta go around a body of water, or you gotta go up through a bridge or whatever in order to get to certain places. And it can take some time. So because of that, there's a lot of congestion. How to with tourism, there can be a lot of congestion all throughout the area. So it can be trying. I would say plan ahead, use the apps, and watch out for people because pedestrians are crazy. I was going to add that, but looks like we're ad-libbing it in here anyway on our list. But yeah, the, a lot of people are playing Frogger out there. That little game where you're trying not to get hit by a car. You get killed in Destin all the time because they get hit by a car with people not paying attention. First of all, use the crosswalk. It takes you a couple 
couple of extra seconds, maybe a couple minutes to walk down there and hit that so you don't get hit by a car. Secondly, it's not that they're paying attention to you. They're not. They're on vacation. They're blaring their music. AC's blaring. They're probably coming off of a boat ride or something where they had a couple of libations where they shouldn't technically be driving. And because of it, you know, people get hit and they die. And it's sad, but the pedestrians need to be paying more attention. They're on vacation, they're gonna do what they want. But yeah, so that can really be trying as well. Another thing, if you're not used to it, I did 14 years in the military, in the Air Force. I was a mechanic, I also flew as a flight engineer, all those fun things that I did. And I was subjected to loud jet noise all the time, right? And I got used to it. But if you're not used to the constant noise, you're gonna hear jet noise. You're gonna hear it from the private airport from Destin. But the biggest thing you're gonna go is you're gonna hear Gen 2 engines, like the old freaking engines that they have roaring out of Eglin Air Force Base all the time. You're gonna hear the fighter planes, which is really cool to watch, right? You'll see some of the cargo planes, some of the special operations aircraft that are out there. Super cool to see if you're into that, but it makes a lot of noise. And because there's a special operations base, they operate at night too. So you will have to get used to, you'll hear like some big 105 rounds going off in the background sometimes it's not like you're hearing explosions but you hear like the, the things being fired in the background sometimes when you're in the Destin area so jet noise can be a factor some people can get used to it some can things you may not like or regret when you move here housing prices you may not regret it if you've been here long enough because it's only been going up <laughs> especially if you bought before 2020 but anyway to get in here for housing the median price in Destin is 675,000 and that's just the median that's the biggest cluster if you're trying to find a home. Now that can go as high as 9.8 mil, right? If you're looking to get something on the actual water, well, I'm gonna say the Gulf. And for the low, what's the lowest I can get in, you can get it probably around 190,000 or 200,000. It's not gonna be nice, it's not gonna be big, and it's not gonna be upgraded, but can you get in there? Sure, yeah, you'll be competing, but you could get in there. <laughs> All right, other things you may not like, cost of living. Cost of living isn't that bad, okay? Comparatively to the national average. It's only 0.9 of a percentage above the national average. So not bad, right? Florida in general is above the national average. But let's kind of put them into the categories. So you have groceries. Groceries are 5.3% above the national average, okay? The cost. The cost of healthcare is 4.2% above the national average. Housing. <laughs> at least 68% above the national average. Our utilities is about 3.4% above the national average. Now that's because it does get kind of cold here. I mean, I'm a Floridian now, so it does get cold here, but you'll be running the heat during the winter and you'll be running the AC during the summer. You kind of have to have that when it comes to the heat and the humidity that we get here, right? Uh, now transportation, that's actually below the national average at 6.4%. And miscellaneous, just all the other things that we wanted to combine together was about 6.3% above the national average, all right? So those are some things. Also things to consider as well that you may not like is we do have weather, like we just had talked about, with possibility of hurricanes, tropical storms, humidity in the summer, humidity in the winter, right? We'll get average temperatures in the 40s, mid 40s, 50s, and you think, Tim, that's not, that's not cold. I'm from North Dakota, like it gets negative 40 here. Okay, no, I, I get it, I get it. But if you're in a place that it gets really cold, it's really dry, it doesn't feel as cold as if it's got some moisture behind it. Right? Think about stepping into cold air versus jumping into an ice bath, right? I can tell you, if you've watched any of my other videos before, I actually used to work in Antarctica with the Air Force, and I would go between all these cold weather places, right? And I can tell you distinctly that I would work in an average of negative 20 degree weather in Antarctica during their summertime, right? And then I would go up to Northwest Territory in Canada in the Arctic Circle or in Cambridge Bay. And I remember going out there and it was negative 20, so I dressed like I would in Antarctica and go out there and it was so much colder. I was like, what happened? I was like, oh, it's humidity in the air. Humidity with negative 20? Nope. <laughs> it was awful. It was awful. Anyway, you don't have to worry about those temperatures here. It's very, very comfortable in comparison to, but just know that that could be something that you wouldn't like. All right, so things you may like. Woo, we're finally there. What are some things you're really going to enjoy? All right, get off the negative stuff. All right, so things that you'll like. There's a lot of Airbnb area restrictions. So 
you can go to places where it's not tourist all the time. Especially in old Destin and the western part of Destin, there are certain areas that you can't take a single family home in a, in a residential neighborhood and turn it into a short term rental. So you don't have to worry about partying and all strangers around your neighborhood all the time. So those are really good things, right? You also have access to some of the area's best restaurants and bars, if that's something that you like to do. Also, family activities. All of these things are right there. You don't have to fight the traffic to get into Destin. You don't have to fight the traffic to get out of Destin, like we all do that don't actually live there. But we go there for all the great stuff. So some of the best things are there. Why? Because the tourism. Tourism gets there because we have high tourism. We have really good restaurants. We got really nice places to go to get a drink and to hang out. All these places exist thanks to that influx of population that we get between the spring and fall. So really awesome there. And you get to get into the, all the back roads and not have to travel through the biggest part. You do have access to shopping. You have access to pretty much everything you need to in Destin, with certain exceptions, right? If you want to go to a Sam's Club or something like that, you may have to come off the island. It's a peninsula, but you know, whatever. To go down into Fort Walton Beach to get something or whatever. But you do have access to all the other shopping that we'll travel out there for. You have the outdoor mall that's out there. You'll also have the grocery stores that are there. There are two health stores to include Whole Foods that are there, right next to the Destin Commons, which is that outdoor mall. Not only that, but there's tons of stuff to do. Whether you're a family, woman, family man, whatever that is, or if you're a young military sergeant officer or whatever, and you're coming into the area and you just want to go out and have some drinks and hang out with your pals, this is a great place to go. All of that exists right there for you to enjoy. So have access to the Gulf and the Bay and the Harbor. You have all these things to be able to go out and go do things and, and to rent boats or to get onto the water, to get down to Crab Island, like all that stuff is right there. And I say a lot of it like we're getting into the tourist area, but there are boat launches. There are all these other things that are free to that public for you to go use as you live in that area. So if you've got a boat at the house, you can go down. There's some places to put in to easily get over to Crab Island if you want to do that or to go out fishing or to go cruise around or whatever that you want to do. You have tons of access and it's very, very close to where you want to be. And also that you have great short term rental opportunities. So you do have restrictions. I know I mentioned that before. However, you have great investment opportunities throughout that entire area. And because you're living there, if you want to self-manage, you can save yourself upwards of 25% of the rents per month if that's something that you want to do. And depending upon if you purchased a condo or you purchased an attached unit or a single family home that's not in the restricted areas, you can always decide to rent that out later, turn that into an investment. Not only did you get the equity over time from living in it, now you can make it a cash flowing asset, which I think is awesome. Awesome. Of course, real estate agent, right? <laughs> and of course you have quick access to air transportation. So those of you that travel a lot, like myself, you go out of town for work trips and things like that. You have quick access to where you want to go. If you need to get into the major airport, which is shared with Eglin Air Force Base, which is VPS or Destin Fort Walton Beach Airport, it's actually pretty quick for you to get there. Depending upon the season and where you are in Destin, you're able to get there in upwards of you know 25 minutes sometimes. And then if you want to fly out of the executive airport, again, it's right there. So it's maybe a five, 10 minute drive for you. So all these things kind of combined really make it very easy to get into those air transportation. And I have a whole video on it, but I do want to share with you that Allegiant just has like this hub of recent, the last few years, they built another terminal just for Allegiant in VPS at Destin Fort Walton. So there are a lot of direct flights in and out of this area, and it's pretty cheap too. So again, if you're going to be traveling, this is a great way to go. Not only that, if you want to go to Dallas or Houston, and I think there's a couple of others, there's direct flights out of a Destin executive on JSX or something like that. If you remember what that is, please leave it in the comments below for some other reason. I can't remember it right now, but there is another airline that you can go. It's like walk right up to the plane. Don't really have to go through security. It's pretty cool. And it's pretty comparable to a business class ticket. So I would look into that too. It's a great opportunity there for air transportation. Not only that, yeah, I got one more for you. <laughs> one thing that you may also like is they have lots of festivals. There's free concerts. 
all these things you're gonna have access to while you're living into the Destin area. So the festivals, I know there's like, we had a tacos and tequila, there was a whiskey festival that was coming up. There's free concerts pretty much every weekend that are down there on Destin Harbor. They're building out, well, I, I've seen the plans for it, but they're building out an amphitheater down there by Crab Island that you'd be able to go to. And I'm sure there'll be some open to the public concerts stuff down there. Again, you just have access to everything. So if you wanna live in this area and really enjoy it, Destin may be the place for you to actually live to have for your center base. If you're not gonna spend so much time and privacy is a little bit more important to you, you may wanna consider something just outside the realm, say into the Fort Walton Beach, Niceville, or even Crestview area to really check that out. But that's all I have for you for do I regret moving to Destin? If you have any questions about anything I mentioned here, please leave it in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. If you are listening to one of our audio programs, there will be a phone number for you to call or text after that. Please reach out, I'm happy to help. And if you are moving to this area or investing and got some questions, need some help, please, please give my team and myself a call, text, email, whatever you got to do. We'd love to help you out further. So again, my name's Tim Whittemore here with the Whittemore Group with LPT Realty. We'll see you in our next video.